Did you just wake up and your big toe joint is very swollen with 10 out of 10 pain in the morning? Well, there's a good chance you might have something called gout. I'm gonna teach you exactly what to do for gout, how to stop it as quickly as possible and stop it from possibly killing you. No, it doesn't really kill you. How dangerous is gout? Gout's not really that dangerous, but it is extremely annoying and painful. It can absolutely destroy your day. This is one of the most common things people call us about asking to get in immediately. Besides, you know, all those really life-threatening things like draining abscesses and life-threatening infections. So gout can be a major scare in your life. You want to act very quickly to get it taken care of, but no, it won't kill you and it's not life-threatening. What exactly is gout? Gout is the buildup of something called uric acid crystals or a condition called hyperuricemia. So what this means is a, in a practical way is as your body turns over and digests DNA, a molecule called uric acid is a leftover byproduct. So two things can happen. Some people can't recycle it in their body well. These are genetic conditions. That's about 10% of people. And then 90% of people, they just make too much and they don't pee it out quickly enough. So as you put on weight, as your blood's not flowing as well, as your kidneys are not working as well, as you drink more alcohol, as you get more dehydrated, all this stuff combines to create situations which lead to hyperuricemic conditions. So why do you usually get it in your big toe? 90% of the time it's in the big toe. The reason it happens in the big toe joint is because you have less blood flow there and it's a colder part of your body. Usually your toes are a little bit colder than the rest of your body. So here's how I like to think of hyperuricemia causing gout. When you put in a sugar cube in a cold glass, it sinks to the bottom. Whereas you heat up that fluid, the crystals form back into the water and they disappear. So your big toe joint's a pretty big joint, far enough away from your body where the circulation's low and the crystal builds up in that big toe joint. How do we diagnose gout? So there's a lot of ways, uh, basically if you have the symptoms, if you wake up in the morning and your big toe joint's hurting and throbbing, 95% chance it's gout and not something else. But officially you can get a blood test and check the level of your uric acid level. And the official way, so the official way to diagnose gout is to take a needle to poke you in the big toe while you're in the worst pain of your life and to see if some crystals come out. I would not wish that upon my worst enemy, but that is the official treatment option. So the first thing you're going to do is wake up in the morning and you're in crippling pain. So here's what you can do if you don't have any medications. Number one, grab a big bag of ice or a warm washcloth. Put it on the joint for 10 to 15 minutes. Elevate it as high as you can. Get your foot up in the air. Uh, elevate that foot. Get some ice or a washcloth as you're elevating these are the two best things you can do that are not medication based. So ice, elevate, and keep doing that until the pain goes away. You're going to have a hard time functioning during the day to get rid of this pain. Um, so start working on it right away. For medications, the most common thing people have available in their house is anti-inflammatories. These are your aspirins your ibuprofens. You can combine these with Tylenol to decrease your pain sensation. 
So anti-inflammatories like aspirin, ibuprofen actually decrease the swelling and the pain in the big toe. Tylenol decreases it in your brain so that you don't sense it as well. Tylenol is digested in your liver, whereas anti-inflammatories are in your kidneys. So you can use them both together, but check, uh, check if you're healthy enough to be able to do this first. The next types of medications uh, that you can use are stronger pain medications, but these need prescriptions from your podiatrist or primary care doctor. Beyond that, my favorite pill to take now because it has less side effects is something called Colchris. So this is something you take right away and it really cools things down. Although the big gun, if you can tolerate it, steroid medications. Steroids work quicker than any other medications. They wash away your pain almost immediately. So if you have a podiatrist in your area, go see them and have these medications available. If you've had gout strikes before, have this medication available in your medicine cabinet so that you don't get caught with your pants down. Because when you wake up in the morning and you're in crippling pain relying on a washcloth and ice alone, you will not be very happy. How do you prevent gout? You got to get healthy. This is the bottom line. This is your body screaming out for assistance. Most people that have gout have gotten older, have put on weight. Their kidneys don't work as well. Their metabolism doesn't work as well. They're carrying large amounts of tissue. There's not a lot of blood circulating through their toes. They might be drinking alcohol. They're eating heavy purine or meat diets. This is seafood, um, red meats, that kind of stuff. You got to cut that stuff down. You got to hydrate better. You got to cut down on the alcohol. Losing weight and getting to your ideal BMI would be the choice solution. This would help prevent it unless you've really spiraled out of control. At this point, you might need medications. If you have more than three gout attacks a year, the indications are a medication called allopurinol. This basically helps you pee out the uric acid. So this is a decent idea, but why not just get healthier? Get healthier, lose some weight, start eating better. If you are at the point where you have to start taking heavy duty amounts of medication to prevent your gout attacks, this is a wake up call for your life to start improving. Granted, there are some people that do need medication because they have genetic differences, but this is proven to be 10% of people. If you're in that other 90%, get in better shape and you will not have to be on medications. You don't want to be on medications for the rest of your life. So this is the ultimate final plan for gout. Go see your podiatrist ahead of time. Get yourself some Colchris or some steroid medications available if you're expecting an attack. Having these to take right away makes your pain go away almost immediately. Then get some ice or a warm cloth towel. Uh, elevate your foot and do that 15, 20 minutes at a time as frequently as possible. Give your body about 10 minutes to bounce back in between. So take the anti-inflammatory medications such as the steroids, or you could take ibuprofen or aspirin. Uh, you could combine it with Tylenol, or you could take the steroid instead. Ice, elevate your foot, and you'll be feeling better as quickly as possible. Within about 24 hours, your pain should be greatly relieved. Mm -hmm.